So now the next question that we have is question number two. <coughs> it says essentially give a rough estimate by rounding off to the nearest hundreds and also a closer estimate by rounding off to the nearest tens. And of course it's um, it the first of all this is something that uh, needs to be understood about these numbers. So when you have a number like for example let's take the example of 2 for example part a for example right and the number that the numbers that you have is 439 plus 334 plus 4317 okay these are the numbers that you have so you see when you when you want to do this when you want to do this calculation I can make the, the calculation as simple as possible by rounding to the largest place value that I have meaning that for example a 439 I can just simply round it to a 400 334 334 I can round it to, for example, a 300. And 4,000, for example, for example, 317, I could even round it to, I don't know, maybe even a 4,000 to, 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 to get essentially a, a rough estimate, okay? And now I can just simply say that 4,000 plus 300 plus 400, that's a 4,700 right so it's I don't even have to do any calculations or anything I, I could I could even do the, the the calculation in my head right so but then I could do I could do it in a different way meaning that I could say that for example 439 I'm going to keep it as I'm going to keep it as a 400 a 334 I'm going to keep it as a 300 but then um, but then basically a 4317 I'm going to round it to the hundreds place value not to the thousands place value which gives me essentially a 4300 still the calculation is not hard because you have 400 here plus 300 plus 300 that's a 600 plus 400 that's a thousand plus a 400 that gives me essentially a 5000 right now the actual calculation over here would be um, would be basically nothing but for example a four 439 a 334 and the 4,317, and that's a 4,704 here, right? So this calculation would be basically 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. 16 plus 4 is um, a 20, and then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, and 9. And then 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So that's one carryover. And then 5, 5,090. Right? <clears throat> so you see over here that basically when I round my numbers, for example, these two numbers I rounded to the hundreds place value. This number I rounded to the thousands place value. The, the difference between the estimated number and the actual sum is about 400, right? 400, 400 out of a 5,000. That's a pretty large difference. But then when I kept essentially the two, these two numbers, I kept them rounded to the, still to the hundreds place value. But then these, this larger number, I rounded to the hundreds place value instead of to the thousands place value my calculation gets much closer to the actual sum basically <clears throat> right and then i could 
I could even keep going with this, meaning that, meaning that essentially, but then essentially if you compare, you can see that basically the calculation over here, although it's a little bit far off, but the calculation is simpler, you can just simply do it in your head. But then this needs a little bit more calculation, right? And, and basically I can go f with this, meaning 439, I could round it to even, for example, the tens place value. The tens place value would give me, for example, a 440. 334, I could round it to the tens place value. That gives me a 330. And the 4,317, I could still keep it at the, probably the hundreds place value, right? And that gives me a 4,300. So now I have a 40 and 30, which is a 70. And then I have a 400 and 300, that's a 700. And then over here, I have a 300 over here. And then I have a 4,000 here. So that's a thousand, thousand, thousand plus four thousand is five thousand. That's five thousand seventy, right? <clears throat> so you see that the calculation gets a little bit more complicated. As I rounded the number to the tens place value, tens place value, and still keeping this at the hundreds place value. So that's a five thousand seventy. Whereas the actual number is supposed to be five thousand ninety. So I'm getting very close to the actual number, but of course I have to do a little bit more calculation to get to, meaning that doing a little bit more calculation, meaning essentially rounding the numbers to the, to the smaller place values. Meaning I started from the hundreds place value, hundreds place value, and then over here, I'm now I'm rounding to the tens place value, right? So I could I could still keep going with this, meaning that, for example, in the case of this number, I could still, because I have rounded to the hundreds place value, I can round the number to the tens place value even, and I would get even closer to the to the to the actual number. But then I would have to do a little bit more calculation and. This calculation, when you get to essentially this one over here, it's probably even not, it's probably not easy anymore to do it in your head. Whereas if you're, if you round your numbers essentially all to the largest place value, then you can easily do the calculation very quickly in your head and then just give some rough estimate. Okay. So it depends on the situation, what sort of situation you're dealing with. And how much tolerance essentially the situation can accept or how much tolerance is accepted in that particular situation. And then based on that, you can either go to the largest place value or, or, or essentially get closer to the smaller place values, right? <clears throat> so... Um, so then, um, so then that, that's, that's basically one example. So you see that, for example, if I round all of the numbers, for example, to the, these numbers to the hundreds place value and this number to the thousands place value, I get it 4700. If, for example, if I keep the number, if I keep essentially these at the hundreds place value, this to the, again to the hundreds place value, meaning move one place value to the right, I get a 5,000 and so on and so forth, okay? Now, the second one, the second part of this question is, um, now the second question here, which is two, part B, is one lakh eight thousand seven hundred thirty-four minus 47,599. 
So this is the same thing as when, when we say one like eight thousand seven hundred seven hundred thirty four. That's the same thing as one hundred eight thousand seven hundred thirty four. Right. <coughs> now I will write the calculation this way. So this is one hundred eight thousand seven hundred thirty four. Okay. Or essentially one like eight thousand seven hundred thirty four. It might be easier for the essentially every everyone from all around the world that are looking at these videos. Um, so now one hundred eight thousand seven hundred thirty four minus forty seven thousand five hundred ninety nine. Now you see if I round the number to the nearest to the nearest uh, basically hundreds, I would I would round essentially hundred eight thousand seven hundred thirty four. I would round it to the nearest hundreds would be essentially this place value over here. So since there's a three over here, which is less than five, I would round down, meaning I would write the number as hundred eight thousand seven hundred. And then this number over here, forty-seven thousand five hundred ninety-nine, rounded to the hundreds place value, that gives me a forty-seven thousand six hundred. Because there is a nine over here, so you would round up the five becomes a six, and then these two digits are replaced by zeros. And then if you essentially if you do the calculation, essentially. 108,700 minus um, 47,600 that gives you essentially 108,000 minus 47,000 that's the same as um, let's say 50,000 plus 3,000 and plus another 8,000 so that's the same as 11 so that's uh, 61,000 so essentially the way that you can do the calculation I'm instead of writing essentially 108,000 for example 700 minus for example 47,600 I could do the calculation this way or I could break the numbers down I could break the numbers down and I could say that for example I have essentially 108,000 here and from that I'm subtracting a 47,000 and these are both essentially in thousands right and then I have a 700 here and from that I'm subtracting a 600 so this gives me only a hundred doing this calculation essentially if th this is the same as um, Essentially, if this was a hundred minus forty seven, that would be essentially a fifty three. But then, since I have another eight over here, I add the eight over here, so that gives me a sixty one. So that's a sixty one in thousands. So then, essentially, this becomes um, sixty one thousand sixty one thousand one hundred. Right, and of course, we can do this calculation on a calculator as well. We could say that basically 108,700 minus essentially 47,000, 47,600 that's 61,100. 61,100, right? So you can, I mean, whenever there is whenever you can or whenever it's possible essentially you can break the calculation down and do the calculation in any way that makes sense in that particular situation right? so this is essentially rounding the numbers to the nearest hundreds and um, uh, doing essentially doing the, the actual calculation that that gives you basically nothing but, um, for example, 108,000.
734 minus for example 47,599 that's the same as 61,135 61,135 so 61,135 61,100 not much difference but then the same essentially you can now um, round the numbers to the tens place value meaning to the nearest tens basically so then this number over here which is hundred eight thousand for example seven hundred thirty four rounded to the tens place value gives you a hundred eight thousand seven hundred thirty because um, there is a four over here which is less than five so you would round down rounding down essentially the three remains a three and then the four is replaced by zero and the forty seven thousand five hundred ninety nine rounded to the nearest tens would give you a forty seven thousand and then since there is a nine over here you would round up this becomes a ten so the since this becomes a 10 essentially the zero remains here and then one carry over essentially to the five the fives becomes a six and then this place value becomes a zero so that's 47 six zero and then this nine is replaced by zero that's 47,600 right so uh, then you can essentially um, then you can do the calculation this way meaning that you can say that essentially 108,730 minus 47,600 and you see that now the calculation becomes a little bit more complicated meaning that you actually have to well still you can do it in your head meaning 108,000 minus 47,000 that's the same as um, 53 plus an 8 that's a um, so you have a hundred eight thousand minus forty seven thousand so if this was a hundred thousand that would be minus forty seven that would be fifty three thousand and you have an eight over here so that becomes a sixty one and then seven hundred thirty minus a six hundred would be one hundred thirty so you would have essentially 61,130 so that's a 61,130 right so you see over here that when you round your numbers essentially to the nearest tens then basically the actual number is 61,135 and then the, the estimated sum is 61,130, which is only the difference is only essentially five, right? So that's another another part of this question. And again, that 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 essentially shows that essentially in your rounding, the closer that you, I mean, it's a, it's just a rule based on the way that numbers basically work. The closer that you get to the smallest, to the smaller place values, <coughs> meaning um, over here, essentially you have all of these place values. So you have the ones place value, the ten, the hundred, the thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and so on and so forth. Right? The the smaller that you get to the to this the, the the closer that you get to the smaller place values meaning that the more that you get get closer and closer to the ones place value the estimate that you're making gets closer and closer to the actual cal to 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 to, to essentially to the actual calculation if you actually did the actual calculation but of course, at the same time, your calculation becomes more complicated. But then if you want to make a rough estimate, meaning accuracy is not that important, you can get as close as you can to the larger place values, meaning to the thousand, 
ten thousand and a um, hundred thousand and so on and so forth that way essentially you would have just a bunch of zeros to the right side to the right hand side of your number then at the same time essentially your calculation becomes easier but then at the same time again the estimated sum or difference that you calculate is is essentially a little bit farther away from the actual number if you actually did the, the actual calculation okay so that's all about that now part c of this question you have um, 8325 this is question number two part c okay you have 8325 minus 491 right now i can basically we could essentially round to the nearest hundreds for example to the nearest hundreds rounding to the nearest hundreds essentially you, you could write 8000 325 nearest hundreds would be this so there's a two over here so you would round down meaning the three remains at three so you have 8300 and then these two are replaced by zeros 8300 and 491 is rounded to essentially the hundreds nearest hundreds so there's a nine over here you would round up meaning the 4 becomes a 5 and then these two digits are replaced by zeros so that's a 500 and so this is a essentially a subtraction so then 800 8300 minus 500 that would be the same as so you have essentially the 200 over there so 8000 minus 200 is 7800 right whereas if you did the actual calculation 8325 minus 491 that's the same as 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 borrow from here 7 13 12 and 12 12 minus 1 is equal to 3 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 and then 7 so that's 7834 this is 800 so there is a difference of 34 so this is basically seven eight three four right now if i essentially if i round to the nearest to the nearest tens so then i would write eight thousand three hundred twenty five rounded to the nearest tens that gives me 8330 right because there's a five over here I'm, I'm i'm going to round up so rounding up the, the two becomes a three and then the five is replaced by zero and then 491 is going to be essentially rounded to the nearest tens that's just a 490 because there's a one over here so I'm going to round down and then 8330 minus 490 so you see there is more now because we are getting closer to the smaller place values there is as you can see there is more detail in the numbers more detail in the numbers means more calculation and so well I, I couldn't even do this in my head so that's 8330 minus 490 so that's a zero then i'm borrowing from here 7 13 12 and 13. 13 minus 1 is equal to minus 9 is equal to 4 8 and 7 7 8 4 0 7 8 4 0 right so you see over here that 
you see over here that 7840 7800 and the actual number is 7834 so 7840 part c let me see and then of course the answers are i mean I, I i suspected for just a moment that the answer might be wrong the answers are not wrong but you see that that the actual number that you would get if you actually did the, the calculation that would be 7834 and then when you do the when you round your number to the nearest hundreds the answer becomes a 7800 meaning essentially that the estimated difference is is smaller than the actual difference but then when you um, when you round the number to the nearest tens the estimated difference becomes greater than the than the then the actual difference, meaning 7840 is greater than, of course, 7834, right? So it's sometimes essentially the number, essentially sometimes it is greater, smaller, depending on the place value that you round your numbers, right? It's going to be somewhere essentially in the, in the vicinity of your number, meaning you can imagine that, for example, your number is somewhere over here. So this is, for example, 7,834. And then the estimated sum or difference would be either over here or over here, meaning either greater or smaller than the, than the actual number. Okay. So this is basically all about that. Now, um i'm going to do one more of these and then we will end this video so this was part c now part d of this question part d of this question is this is question number two part d okay now part d of this question is um, four lakh 89,348 minus 48,365. Okay. Now, this is, this is again just the same calculation. You can write it as 489,348 minus 48,365. Right. Or essentially, instead of saying four four hundred eighty nine thousand, you can say four lakh eighty nine thousand. It's essentially the same thing. I'm going to go with this variation. Now, um, in order to do this this calculation, basically, first I'm going to round to the to the nearest hundreds, basically. So rounding to the nearest. hundreds then 489,348 rounding to the nearest hundreds would be essentially this place value and since there is a four over here so I'm going to round down meaning that the number becomes 489,300 right so these two digits are replaced by zeros and then you have 48,365 um, rounding to the nearest hundreds would be essentially rounding up because the next digit is a six which is greater than or equal to five so so essentially this becomes 48,400 um, right and so then the calculation becomes 489,300 minus 48,400. 
and this is 489,000 this is 48,000 so well if you do the calculation of course you have to do it manually by hand so 489 300 and 48 400 and subtract you would have zero zero and then this is eight and this is a 13 13 minus 4 is equal to 9 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 and you have 4 over here so you have basically 4 4 0 and 900 right now you see that the difference essentially becomes a 440,900 the numbers that we had over here are basically these two numbers the numbers that we have over here are 489348 and this is 48000 this is 489 and this is 48365 So then 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. This, I could write this as an 8. And then this as a, um, or essentially what I could do, I could borrow essentially one from here. I could borrow one from here. This becomes a 2. This becomes a 14. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Borrow 1 from here. This becomes an 8. This becomes a 12. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. And 4 over here. 44983. This is 44983. So this is the actual difference of the two numbers and you see that the difference between the actual difference and the estimated difference is only 83 right now the same numbers we can round to the nearest to the nearest thousands basically excuse me to the nearest tens To the nearest is 489, 348, rounded to the nearest tens becomes 489, and then this becomes a 50, because 48 rounded to the nearest tens becomes a 50. Um, essentially, it would round up because of the 8, so the, five, the 4 becomes a 5, and the 8 becomes a 0, so that's a 350. And the second number, which is 48,365, rounded to the nearest tens, becomes a 70. 65 rounded to, essentially rounded to the nearest tens, becomes a 70. So your number essentially becomes 48,370. And now you need to, of course, find the difference between these two numbers, which is nothing but so essentially you have 489, 350 minus 48,370, which is the same as, um, so I do the calculation over here first and then I write down. So if I subtract this from this, I'll have zero. And borrow from one from here, I'll have a 15, so 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Borrow, and of course, this comes here, so essentially, borrow one from here, this becomes an 8, this becomes a 12. 12 minus, minus 3 is equal to 9. 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4, and you have 4 over there. So, Essentially, the diff, essentially, the difference becomes, becomes essentially four, uh, 
um, 489, 489, 350 minus 48, 48,370, which becomes 40, 440,980, right? And of course, I can erase all of this. And write it as 489,350. So you see over here that, and of course these are not necessary anymore. So you see over here that um, when you round the number to the nearest tens, this is 440,980. And so the difference would be only essentially 3, right? But then in this case, the difference would be 83. So the, the closer that you get essentially to the, to the, to the smaller place values, essentially the smaller would be the difference between your estimated difference and your actual difference, right? So that's, that's essentially all about question number two in the, Next video, we'll talk about question number three. Thank you.